Hey, what's up everybody? This is Wade from Unparalleled Universe. I just wanted to let you know about the Kickstarter that I've launched for the first ever 112 scale Odious figure. Odious is a character that I've created and I'm trying to make a figure of him via Kickstarter. So be sure to check that out. Odious 112 scale action figure on Kickstarter. Thank you very much. Peace. Hey guys, M2 Collector here with another figure review. Next up is the Hasbro Marvel Legends series, The Marvels. Uh, totally awesome Hulk build a figure wave. Here we have Photon, the Monica Rambeau character. And this is definitely one of the highlights of the wave. I don't know if it's going to be the best figure of the wave. Um, it probably is because even with the Commander Rogers and the Iron Man figure, the, a lot of those figures are going to have kind of reused parts and things like this. Things like that. Um, so this one's definitely going to set it apart and really feel a lot newer than characters that we had gotten before. Monica Rambeau has only had two figures. There is a comic-based one, and that was in the A-Force uh, box set that was exclusive to Toys R Us a few years ago. Um, so this one, you know, feels new and everything. Um, and it's an actually just a really well-done figure um, that's so much better than this Captain Marvel one, which I didn't, I didn't actually like a whole lot. It's cool because we get an updated suit and things like that, but... This, this Monica Rambeau Photon figure is, is just done really, really nice. Uh, looking at the package, we get the Marvel's logo there. We see Tayana Paris, the uh, Monica Rambeau, the actress. Uh, side artwork there of Photon. You can see the full wave to build. Totally awesome Hulk, Amadeus Cho. Uh, we're going to just go in order. So Captain Marvel, Photon, Ms. Marvel, Marvel Boy, Karnak, Commander Rogers, and then the Iron Man Heroes Return. Here we can see everything she comes with. A pair of fists um, and the leg a piece for the totally awesome Hulk. So we already saw the other leg. This is the right leg. Um, nice sh bright green um, and then like purple and stuff for his shorts. So that is cool. We're going to throw that off to the side. Um, and we're going to take a closer look at Monica Rambeau. So there are the fists out of the package. She has these open, like, um, not gripping hands, just open, relaxed hands, I guess they are. Uh, but let's go ahead and zoom in because this head sculpt is one of the best that Hasbro has done. His, um, they have some good ones, they have some bad ones, and they also have some really great ones. Um, and this one is going to go into the really great category. Okay, so here is the up-close look for uh, at the uh, Photon figure, the Monica Rambeau. Um, I keep forgetting to mention, I didn't mention it in the Captain Marvel uh, video, uh, but I got my set from Entertainment Earth. Everyone keeps asking, you know, where did you get it? Where did you get it? How did you get it so early? Um, Entertainment Earth got some, and they shipped some pre-orders out. Like, that's that's pretty much all it is. Nothing special there. Uh, but looking at the likeness, I absolutely see a crazy likeness to Tiana Paris, uh, the actress who portrays Monica Rambeau first in... Uh, the WandaVision uh, Disney Plus series, and then next in the um, the MCU movie, The Marvels. So the Captain Marvel sequel, which will have uh, Captain Marvel Carol Danvers, Ms. Marvel Kamala Khan, and Photon um, Monica Rambeau. And Monica Rambeau, oh, she, you know what? I said one comic figure. She does have a uh, the Captain Marvel figure. Uh, that was just in the Doctor Doom 2-pack, so I actually have that somewhere, so I will do a comparison with that, so my bad. This is the third Monica Rambeau figure, two comic, one MCU, and I can't believe I forgot that, and that's one of the most recent ones that I've reviewed. But anyway, likeness looks crazy there. There's a silver line in her hair there, so I don't know if that's kind of like a hair clip or something that's in there. We'll have to see in the movie kind of how that is. Uh, the sculpt of the hair looks pretty good uh, there. But man, the act, the the likeness, of the actress is just insane. Oh, I even noticed. Look, they even have painted uh, earrings on there for her. The, it, it, this is just really good. I people were talking about the Brie Larson head sculpt, saying it's 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 really good. It is good. Don't get me wrong, and it's better than you know any of the ones that we got before. It just looks a little like flat. You don't just I don't know something about it just looks a little off to me. Maybe it's the larger forehead because of the way they did her hair. But like, then I look at this, I'm like, man, this is like perfect looks exactly like her in my opinion but you know you guys think differently let me know down in the comments below maybe i'm wrong on that but i think it looks awesome the suit is really cool too all the black and white the lines on there no real issues on the paintwork there's a little white spot right there for some reason that's kind of odd uh but looking at the figure uh there's some decent sculpt work in terms of like the suit uh not a whole lot not a whole lot of texture really either i mean there's some line work there on her back and then along her arms and things like that um, there's not a whole lot to it, but it's still done really nice. She has shiny black boots uh, there, um, and just looking at the suit, it, it do, again does look really good. And then her shoulder pads, a little bit of sh uh, shiny black there for her shoulder pads, silver for her her logo there, which is you know similar to the Captain Marvel uh, logo. Uh, but yeah, the the figure really really nice. Let's go ahead and zoom out and look at the articulation. 
Okay, so looking at the articulation, one thing about this figure, it's very, uh, very sturdy. So I don't worry about any gumminess to the figure or anything like that. It's uh, solid and just really holds up and easily easy to stand and everything. Doesn't have the wedge feet. She's got the boots there so she can stand up nice and easy. Nothing to worry about there. The head is on a dumbbell joint, so she's only going to be able to look up and down so much. So looking down is going to be that much. Looking up is really not going to happen because the longer hair hits the back. So she just can't really... Can't really do it, unfortunately. Uh, full uh, swivel in there and you get some pivot in the neck. The arms, you can go straight on out like so. Get a full rotation in there. Um, upper bicep swivel, double jointed elbow. And look at how good that elbow is. You don't see this crazy hinge piece that like sticks out an insane amount um, like the uh, Captain Marvel figure. So it's just weird kind of how that works. So you see like this gap right there. We don't get that with this figure. There's a little bit, of course, sure, but it's not this insane like gap like the Bree, uh, the the Carol Danvers one. I don't know what's going on with that. But anyway, double jointed pinless elbow, which is awesome. Wrist swivel, and they do hinge standard horizontal hinge on there. Uh, we got the diaphragm joint um, torso on her, so she could pivot to her left that much. She could tilt to her right that much there. She can go back a little bit and look, no gap in there. And then one other thing, check this out. This is actually a pretty cool little detail. So you see how that black comes down to a point? It even like st goes beyond the torso piece. So that's pretty cool. So you didn't, they didn't have to worry about like painting it on there um, or it wasn't just cut straight across. So that sticks down a little bit. It's a nice little feature. These black lines continue throughout too. So, hey, kudos there because like the uh, Carol Danvers, you see the gap in there and kind of how the sculpt looks a little ugly instead of just like being more rounded. Um, this one, it stays rounded, no like sharp edges there, and you don't see the gap um, in the torso. So even it's, it's just a, a better constructed figure all around. So she can go back that much. Um, but one thing that's a problem coming forward is still hardly anything at all, as you can see there. It is a little bit as this is straight up, and then coming forward is that. So not a whole lot, um, but you know. It does a tiny bit. You got the swivel in that diaphragm joint as well. Legs go out that far apart. She can kick forward that far. Leg doesn't really go back. We've got the upper thigh cut in there. Double jointed pinless knee. So that much bend there at the knee. That is solid. You can see the boot kind of sticks out there covering her knee. But yeah, solid bend there at the knee as well. Unlike this one where it has just like again that hinge how it just worked in there it's just so weird on the the carol danvers figure but monica rambeau the figure itself just it doesn't have those same issues so it's really nice and i think part of that is because she has uh, extremely thin legs in comparison and the arms aren't that much different to be honest with you it's just you know, for whatever reason, the, the hinges ended up being so so large on there. Uh, but that much bend there, no calf swivel or anything like that. Foot hinges all the way down, a little bit up. Ankle pivot, peg holes at the bottom of the feet. So this is definitely a really good action figure, a good representation from what we can tell of Monica Rambeau in the Marvels without having seen the movie and it getting delayed until November. That's why the figures are out now, even though the, mo the movie doesn't come out for another four four and a half months or whatever it is um that's the reason why because this movie originally had it in a release date of february then got pushed to july as it swapped with ant-man and, and the wasp quantumania that's why those figures are just now coming coming out or haven't already come out or whatever the situation is and not in february when the movie released um but july 1st is the the official street date for these figures um they have been found in the central valley california at walmart so they're going to be hitting stores soon but again mine came from entertainment earth this is definitely one of the ones to pick up because this is just a solid figure all the way around. Okay, so here we have the side-by-side -side comparisons of our Monica Rambeau figure. So the first one, again, is that A-Force box set one. Uh, Photon, Photon here for the MCU. And then here um, is part of the Avengers Beyond Earth's Mightiest 68th Anniversary program. This is the Captain Marvel version of Monica Rambeau. So three figures now for Monica Rambeau. One being MCU, and it is a really good one. Whereas these two, um, this one was okay at the time. You know, that trench coat became very popular, especially in that box set. Two or three of the figures have it like the Elsa Bloodstone has it. Um, this Captain Marvel figure, it, well, while it's good, we could have gotten double jointed uh, elbowed arms, would have been nice, you know, with the bicep swivel, but we ended up getting the single jointed stuff. Uh, the figure itself is okay. It comes in the two pack with Doctor Doom, which is a really good figure um, that I think a lot of people are probably going to pick up more so for the Doctor Doom, uh, but it is a pretty good release. But this one, this new one, this MCU one, 
um, is the better one by far. In my opinion, for you comic guys, you know, that are fans of comic figures more than MCU figures, you're probably going to like the other ones a little bit more. But maybe this one can work for your display. I know it's not really comic looking or comic accurate. Um, maybe it's something that could work. I don't know, because it's just a really good action figure all the way around, having all the updated stuff. So pinless knees, pinless elbows, the double joints, the bicep swivel, and it's just an awesome figure. Whereas, you know, female figures in the past, you know, this one with heels, it's hard to get her to stand up sometimes. Um, and then this one here with the gummy thin legs, you know, this one gets kind of hard to stand up. The legs kind of loosen over time too. And see, now I'm not going to be able to get these either of these figures to stand, am I? Nah. Whereas this Monica Rambo, Rambo, this MCU Photon, um, this thing is going to be very easy to stand up and not an issue at all. Now she's starting to tilt there, but uh, a stand, solid figure all the way around. Okay, so here's uh, Monica Rambo Photon with some other figures. So here we have the Captain Marvel figure from the same wave. Um, and these two look really good together. But man, this one is such a better figure compared to this one. Um, and then there was a request because Monica Rambo's first appearance was in a Spider-Man uh, comic. Here is the Homecoming version of Spider-Man. That was the specific request. Um, so she is way taller than Spider-Man, as you can see there. But really what I wanted to show you guys is the, orig the first release Miss Marvel Kamala Khan. Um, from the Disney Plus series, her own show. I have not yet opened the Ms. Marvel uh, for the Marvels. I will do that, and that will be the next video. So here we have our different versions of kind of Captain Marvel. Even though Ms. Marvel isn't really Captain Marvel, she does take a lot of inspiration, being her favorite hero and all of that, being Captain Marvel. Um, so it's pretty interesting there. I'm kind of looking forward to the movie. It is not in any way my most anticipated uh, movie. The, the the switching places when they use their powers thing is kind of weird. Hopefully it makes sense is what the reason why that even happens. Um, we'll just have to wait for the movie to see, you know, but... Um, the fact that the movie got so many delays, I don't know if that's CGI delays or they need to do re reshoots to rework the movie or whatever the case may be. Hopefully we get a good product out of it, a good movie out of it, and a good story out of it. And that's what's going to be uh, most important. So hopefully we'll see. But anyway, you guys let me know down in the comments below. What do you think of this Monica Rambeau photon figure? I think it is awesome. And I think it's going to be the best figure in the wave. The Commander Rogers is going to be cool. The Iron Man are going to be cool. But this one being all new, all new sculpt and everything like that, the likeness being insanely good um, definitely sets it apart. And I think you guys will really like it. But you let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you guys like this video, please do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Hit that join button to become a channel member uh, and be a part of the MCU Collective and show support to the channel. I do appreciate it. And thank you for watching.